Hi, this is Steve Holmes, Denner Realty and the Home Team. And uh, in today's edition, March 28th, 2018, of Sound Advice, I'm going to talk about getting ready for spring. So, as a homeowner, uh, whether you're considering to sell or not, what are some of the things that you need to be thinking about as uh, spring is approaching? Uh, the main place that I start is on the outside uh, water. So, as the snow melts here in Minnesota, you need to think about what do I need to do to keep my basement dry? Uh, first, th well, the main things you're going to look at are gutters and uh, grade. Um, so take a look at your gutters. Make sure that your downspouts are in place. Uh, they're not damaged. They're connected. And uh, ideally, you want your gutter, if you have gutters, uh, which uh, I strongly recommend. Uh, without gutters, you get a lot of water next to the house, which leads to damage, settling, uh, driveways cracking, sidewalks cracking. So gutters are almost a necessity in, uh, in Minnesota. Um, with gutters, you want to make sure your downspouts extend ideally 8 to 10 feet away from the house uh, or to, uh, to a low spot to get the water to shed away from your house. So make sure your downspouts are not clogged, your uh, extensions are in place, undamaged, and not clogged. Um, and uh, second thing is if you have a sump pump, most homes are built with drain tile and a sump basket, but not all homes require a sump pump. If you do have a sump pump, uh, take a look at your sump pump discharge. Uh, again, you want to make sure it extends away from your house so that the water uh, is shed away from the foundation. And once that, uh, once that extension has been checked out and it's not frozen, uh, it's a good idea to check your sump pump. Put some water in your sump basket, uh, enough to get the float valve to lift up, and, uh, and the sump pump should turn on. Uh, so make sure your sump is uh, your sump pump is working properly. Uh, oftentimes uh, when they fail it's because they haven't been used for many years and then when you need it and uh, probably not home when it tries to run it doesn't run. Um, so testing it out is a good idea and the other place that I've found that they fail is in the joints uh, of the discharge going up the wall in your basement. So make sure that it runs, make sure it doesn't leak, and uh, take a look at this discharge. Make sure the discharge is, is working properly on the outside of the house. Uh, third thing that I look at is screens. Uh, make sure your windows are uh, in good condition, your screens are installed. Most of us, or a lot of us, take our screens off in the winter to give us, uh, let more light in because it gets dark in the winter. So taking off your screens will allow uh, a brighter home in the winter. So before you put the screens on, good idea to, uh, to repair any screens that are damaged. Also clean them, vacuum all the last year's uh, dust, pollen off of the screens and, and wash your windows potentially. Um, and then um, the last thing is assessing your summer projects. So this is a good time to take a look at uh, caulking, painting, staining, uh, making sure that your driveway, your sidewalk, your caulk is in good condition to line up your projects for the summer and get ready for the following fall and in winter because uh, in Minnesota when summer is always coming but so is winter. So there you have it. Those are my uh, spring tips. Tomorrow I'm going to talk about how do you determine how much to offer for a home. So putting together an offer for a home, deciding how much to offer. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time on Sound Advice.